Okay, welcome back to another video. Uh, I want to talk about something that I have recently discovered, and really that's the basis of this channel, is I am trying to constantly learn things when it comes to programming, whether that's at work or just on my own. And then when I do, I like to come on here and share that information with you or anything that I think would make a good video. And today we're going to talk about what does the asterisk args mean. And we're going to talk about some different things uh, when it comes to the asterisk and Python, all of the different uses of that. But before we get into it, if you like this kind of content, feel free to subscribe. That way you don't miss any videos I make in the future that you may find useful. And hopefully you learn something at least from these videos. And yeah, maybe just join me for the ride so we can, you know, get better together. And I come to this website a lot, Social Blade. If you don't know what this website is, it's a way to look up different YouTube statistics. And I noticed that we are getting close to almost 200 videos on this channel. So this will be 199, and then the next one's 200. I can hardly fathom that. Um, it's just crazy. And also, the views in the last 30 days have just exploded. So thank you to all of you that are watching this and like it and and whatnot. So And as always, I'll have supplemental material down below if you want to go read a little deeper into some of the things. And yeah, without further ado, let's talk about the asterisk in Python. So as you know, um, the asterisk is used for multiplication. And maybe that's the only use case you know of when it comes to the asterisk. And in case you didn't know, just quickly, 3 asterisk 5 is going to print out 15. At least I hope so. So let's run this. There you go. 15. 3 times 5, 15. Perfect. All right, so multiplication, great. What about 2 asterisks in between two numbers. So for instance, two, and then two asterisks, and then three. What does this mean? This means two to the power of three. So two times two times two. And if I did this correctly in my mind, that's eight. And let's see if that's true or not. So we'll save and run this. And there you go, we get eight down below. Okay, next up, I have this uh, list in Python. Here you can see I made a list called cars. I put in different manufacturers of cars. What if I want to print that all out on one line? I don't want to loop through it. I don't want to do all this convoluted stuff in order to print this out. What is an easy way to do that? And we can actually do this with, you guessed it, the asterisk. So if I print and I do asterisk name of the list, we go to save that and run this, we get it printed out just like this Subaru, Toyota, Ford, Tesla. Notice I didn't have to do anything fancy. I literally just printed out the list with an asterisk in the front. Okay, and what this video is probably titled, at least I'm kind of looking in the future, I'm not sure what I'm gonna title this video, but what does the asterisk args do? And we're going to end up seeing this in some kind of definition. So let's call this uh, I'm going to follow the example they have on the supplemented article. So let's call this addition. That's going to be this function. And we don't really know how many variables are going to be passed into this. It could be 3, it could be 10, it could be 100. We don't know. And we don't want to create a new function for every single one of these. We want it to all work the same. We want to add up all of the numbers. We want to sum them up. So to give it an arbitrary amount of variables passed in, we can do asterisk args. And here it's pretty simple. Uh, the whole definition of this function is just going to be return the sum function and then args. That's literally all we're going to do. So just to show you an example, let's do uh, our call addition and let's pass in a bunch of numbers. So five, comma 10 comma 15 comma 22 comma uh, 78 95 you could go on for days and let's go ahead down here and run it and here we get the sum of all of those and notice i didn't have to do anything special with the amount of variables that i passed in if i want to remove a couple we can use the same exact function it doesn't care now we got 52 Okay, and a little bonus content, we have a little extra. We're going to show keyword arguments and how that can be used. So instead of just one asterisk, we're gonna use two. So just like this, instead of args, we're using KW or keyword arguments. 
And then here we're going to have a for loop. So for key comma value in kwargs dot items, not capitalize them items, just like this, we're going to print. So I'm going to do an F string. And in here, we're going to have the key value apostrophe s name is and then we're going to also pass in that value. And maybe let's name this something else. So instead of addition, let's just call it names. And here let's call it so names, and then let's throw in some key value pairs. So uh, dog is going to be equal to the string spot. Cat is going to be equal to um, what's a good cat name? Whiskers? Does that have a H? I don't think it does. Disregard it if it does. <laughs> and then uh, let's do one more fish. Its name is Goldie, I guess. Let's clear this down here to make it less cluttered. And now let's run this. And here we get dog's name is Spot, cat's name is Whiskers, fish's name is Goldie. And same as before with the single asterisk and args, we can have as many of these key value pairs as we want. So maybe you've never seen some of these uses of the asterisk before, and hopefully uh, you can use them now that you're aware that they exist and hopefully you found this video useful. Um, once again, if you like this kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe and I hope to see you again in a future video.